the most basic maneuver a fighter can pull is a turn. And a fighter can turn and turn and turn because that's what they're made to do. But humans, on the other hand, were not made to turn with those fighters. Fighter pilots are trained to handle them, of course, but a fighter's abilities will always be limited by the human factor. In real life, fighter jets are often limited to 8 or 9 Gs in order to preserve the lifespan of its air freight. But in War Thunder, an aircraft's structure does not have a long-term lifespan, and thus, you can pull as many Gs as the aircraft can handle. But War Thunder still has pilots inside of those aircraft too, so those 13G maneuvers will not last very long. However, there is a remedy for this that not many people know about. Dogfighting is an essential part of aerial combat in War Thunder. To come out on top, a pilot must use every tool available to them. One tool not commonly used in the middle of an intense fast-paced dogfight is trim. All you have to do to make use of this mechanic is to simply go into the controls menu and switch to full real controls. Once there, find what button you have bound to your elevator trim axis. It is also going to be very important to make sure you know your toggle control mode key. In essence, the trick is to switch to full real controls mode and set your elevator trim to any value that you need. Depending on the trim value that you've set, the aircraft will pull just as hard as with the full normal elevator deflection, and in most cases it'll pull even harder. But the real selling point of using this feature is that when your pilot blacks out, the trim value remains the same and your aircraft keeps turning. You can use this to turn an infinite amount of time without once having to stop to let your pilot recover. The best part about this too is that since War Thunder's G-Lock mechanics don't fully restrict your control over the aircraft, you can still always make slight adjustments to your course while turning. It goes without saying that only high power fighter jets will see a benefit from this, since only they are capable of generating such g-forces on a regular basis. But what plane specifically makes use of this the best is the F-16. You can actually use this trim feature to bypass the F-16's g-limiter in order to pull an insane amount of g's at high speed. In addition, you can make use of the F-16's incredible thrust-to-weight ratio in order to maintain a rate of turn that would realistically kill your pilot and probably irreparably damage the airframe. But as previously mentioned, this is War Thunder, so realism is a bit exaggerated sometimes. Using this in a dogfight can be useful, although keep in mind that there are some drawbacks. You still cannot fire any weapons or flares while blacked out. This means you should really only use it when you're stuck in a nose-to-tail turn fight. Another thing to point out is that if you're doing this at a high speed, you're going to have a very wide turn radius regardless of how many Gs you're pulling. A good pilot is still going to find a way to cut into your circle and get a firing solution, so be careful when you choose to use this. The elevator trim trick is a very fun thing to do from time to time, even when it isn't entirely useful. Before I conclude the video, I do want to clarify that using this isn't cheating, nor is it an exploit. Everyone has access to this game mechanic, and it's a game mechanic that works exactly as intended. An aircraft that could somehow detect when you black out in order to reset your trim would be highly unrealistic. So the next time you find yourself annoyed with the constant blackouts during dogfights, Give this a try and see how it works for you.